Hi, I'm Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric and I have a 1997 ZR580 EFI stator uh, here on the shelf and I'm going to show you how to check this particular stator. Uh, just like my other stator checking videos, we've got our multimeter here and uh, we want to have it on a thousand or possibly two thousand scale uh, because the specs for this particular stator here, which is the 97, is uh, brown green, supposed to be 450 ohms, brown black is roughly 490 to 500 ohms, and then the green black is for, supposed to be 45 ohms. On this stator, as there is on uh, many of the EFI stators, there's lots of plugs on here. And uh, this plug here with our yellow wires, that's uh, here's our ground and our two yellow wires, those are power. Uh, they go to our uh, handlebars, uh, the uh, lighting, uh, uh, lighting and the uh, gauges and so forth. Uh, other ca other uh, cables here, we've got uh, fuel pump and so forth with, uh, with our other ones here. But the one we want for our stator to check the uh, the actual output of the ignition coils is this, uh, it's like a clear plastic uh, three-prong plug here and the way I'm going to show it, explain it or what have you is the uh, little connectors that catch, I have those on top there's uh, two on the uh, outside here, one smaller one on the inside so wire color uh, on the far left hand side here we've got our our brown and then our center is green and then on the far right here is our black so on the uh, stator itself our two ignition coils uh, are these two right here and they are the larger coils on uh, the stator here this particular stator uh, was given to me by a customer uh, it was rewound by another rewind company and uh, we'll go ahead and measure it here in just a second and see what the measurements are so go ahead and take your uh, multimeter, whichever version you have. Some guys have analogs with the needle, but uh, I have the digital here. Uh, my scale for ohms, I've got 200, 2000, and 20K. I set it to 2000 because uh, our largest re uh, reading should be uh, roughly 500 ohms for this. So what we're going to start with here is our brown to green should be 450 ohms. So here's our brown on the far left hand side and make sure you get good contact. Sometimes these are a little bit of a pain in the rear to get good contact on these and once I get contact I get uh, roughly 440 ohms uh, on that uh, ignition coil and it is the larger ignition coil on this stator. In fact, that's true for most all stators. The largest is considered your low speed and that's usually the highest uh, resistance of the, uh, of the three. So now our other coil should be green-black and that one should be 45 uh, ohms and I know for a fact this one isn't because I've checked it already and it was bad from the customer. So when we check our our uh, green black wires that should be 45 ohms we're getting uh, 500 and you know 76 78 80 what have you we're getting way too many ohms for this so there's uh, too much resistance in there which uh, more than likely some sort of ground condition uh, maybe some sort of shorting out condition the third measurement which is the uh, brown wire to the black wire which are your two outside uh, your two on the outside of the plug here. That's basically the two coils in series and uh, when you have two good coils obviously that reading should be right around uh, 500 uh, ohms, 490, 500, 510, something along those lines. And obviously when we check those two together, uh, you can see my ohm meter there, you know, 943 ohms. Uh, Let's just say this stator, this stator's got some uh, major problems with it. So, this is like I say, the 97 ZR580 EFI stator, and uh, I'll try to put uh, stator checking videos together for roughly uh, each model year. And uh, obviously, some of these were used for uh, in 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 for the same years and so forth. You know, like a 95 through 97, 98, 99. There's obviously uh, years where they were used. Uh, for the same model sleds. So that's how you check this specific model with the, uh, like I say, the clear three-prong plug on it. 